happy monday happy monday week, okay? and you can tell by today's title we are doing another motivational monday okay so grab your crew grab your friend your mama your daddy some popcorn some pizza whatever you prefer girl and let's get into this video <laughs> told you okay y'all so typically i'm not going to lie to y'all typically i do i film actually my motivational um monday videos on saturday but today is monday i just dropped one this morning so if you guys haven't seen the second motivational monday <clears throat> make sure you guys go and check it out but anyway like i was saying Typically, you know, I drop my motivational Monday video and I just let it go. And then Saturday I'll film and then put it out, you know, whatever, whatever. But today was a little different, y'all. So I was um conversing with some YouTubers um last night, and one girl was typically going through um or is going through similar things that I'm going through right now which led me to this topic and y'all when i tell y'all the devil is messing the devil is messing y'all i have filmed my intro for this video probably like five times already okay so without further ado let me just say let me i want to shout out one person because one thing that i do believe is pouring back into the to the people who pour into you so i just want to say hey naturally marge hey girl y'all <clears throat> I'm in a group text with uh two of my best friends and um one of them said, you know, they had watched my video. Every video that I do, I always send them the link. Like I send them the link because I know they're going to support me without a shadow of a doubt. Like they are, you know? And so send them the link and um Shannon was like this is your call and mind you, naturally Marge is not even in our group text, okay? So I put out the Motivational Monday video and she said in the comments, you know, this is your calling. Y'all, girl, I just want to say thank you so much. Like, I thank you for the encouragement, for everything that you say. Like, it doesn't go unnoticed. I appreciate you. And I just love you, like, being just so supportive and just being a real friend. And congrats on your YouTube channel as well. And yeah, so... I appreciate you, girl, okay? So, yeah, y'all, let's get into this video. So, the topic today is how to set boundaries, how to love people who don't treat you right. And I think this is a topic that we all face. Like, we all either gone through, have gone through it, you know, whatever. So, y'all know I got to give a definition first, and y'all know I got to have scripture to back it up, okay? Don't play um, Google's definition of <clears throat> love is an intense feeling of deep affection, a great interest and pleasure in something. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all what God says about the word love and how it equates to scripture. And then we're going to get into it. Okay. <clears throat> so first Corinthians 13, four and eight says love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boost. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Let me repeat that. It keeps no, no, absolutely none, zilch, zero record of wrongs, okay? Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always, 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 y'all, protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. My second go-to is John 3.16. And y'all, we know this by heart. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have ever 
everlasting life. Keyword, for God so loved, right? Right. My next one is John 13 and 34. It says, a new command I give you to love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. Okay. Another familiar one. The last one that I have is Ephesians 5, 15, and 6. It says, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Be careful how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Y'all, that was my scripture as far as boundaries. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I be Googling little bitty words, okay? And then I'm like, okay, well, how does this equate to the Bible? Because you're going to find it. First of all, you're going to find it. So y'all, those are just some of the scriptures that I have to go along with love and setting boundaries for people who don't treat you right. And I'm, I'm going to tell y'all a story. I'm going to give y'all a little backstory, okay? So, and these were people, mind you, these were people who were supposed to be close to me. Okay. If you know me, you know, okay. You know, you know this story. And I wanted so bad to be loved and liked by them that I often found myself apologizing and, you know, just not stepping outside of myself, but in so many ways. Yeah. And it felt like no matter what I would do, no matter what I would say, it was always just a nitpick game, a nitpick game. And finally, one day I was like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. It does not mean that I don't love you. It does not mean that I don't care for you. Like, but at the same time, it's like, I have to watch my inner being. I have to watch and I have to protect my spirit. And I don't mean any harm, but it's like, I want to surround myself with people who love me and who genuinely, genuinely support me. Now it's just not got to the point to where I don't care. Like, I don't care because I'm, I'm done feeling like I'm begging you and trying to show you how good of a person I am when, and you know what? Let me back up. I think a lot of times when people see that you're a good person. They just, they just don't care. Like they, they don't care. And so I got to a point to where I'm like, you know what? I'm done trying to please you. Because if you can't tell by my actions that I'm a good person, no, I don't always partake in everything that you do. But that doesn't define me as a person. Like, it doesn't. And the thing is, I was telling a YouTuber yesterday, you know, um, I said, here's the thing with people. And here's what I've often found out, especially right now in this season that I'm going through. It's okay for people to poke and poke and poke and poke and nobody blinks an eye. Have y'all ever felt like that? Nobody blinks an eye, right? Nobody. And, 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 and in their eyes, it's okay. But as soon as you set a, set a wall, you set a boundary and you learn to say no, then you're in the wrong. No, baby. No, no, no. I'm not in the wrong. I'm protecting my spirit. How many of y'all are familiar with a spirit of discernment? One thing about me, I can tell when people don't like me. Like, I like I can tell. And y'all, I'm one of the easiest people. Once I get to know you, I'm one of the easiest people to get along with. Like, I am. I'm one of the most humble people. One of the most easy. Don't take it that with me. But at the same time, it's like, when I set, again, when I set my boundaries and I set my rules to, I'm not going to put up with this. I'm not going to go with this because people are going to believe what they want to believe. They're going to do whatever they want to do. They're going to treat you however they feel like they can treat you. Okay. Let, let me say that again. They're going to treat you however they feel like they can treat you. 
And I'm learning in this season. It's okay to turn. It's it's okay to um, what's the word I'm looking for to cut people off. It's so it, it's okay, especially if it's a hindering spirit, a not a supportive spirit. Every time I turn around, you're blaming me for something and not looking at yourself. We have a problem. So no, I don't. And I feel like in this season of life, I don't. Like I said, and I've said a million and one times, I want to surround myself with people who love me. And I always say, you want to find out who on your side? Let something go wrong. Okay, let something go wrong. Don't go to something that they got. Don't do something that they want you to do. And see how many of those people are really going to be there to support you. You're going to find out real quick and real fast. You're going to find out real quick and real fast how them people feel about you. One thing I can give my friends credit for, y'all. They love me from the front door all the way to the back door. They're going to have my back wholeheartedly. Don't get me wrong. They're going to tell me when I'm wrong. They're going to tell me because even now, and you, and you can ask both of them. Even now, Evelyn, don't say that. Don't do that. Why? Why? Because they have a heart of God. They love God. They love me. And they got my best interest at heart. They got my best. And I thank God for them. But baby, those people who, who don't care about you, who are missing, if you have to cut them off, don't feel guilty. Because I guarantee you, you have gave chance after chance after chance, especially when you know your heart is in the right place. One thing I always pray, I say, you know what, God, if I did any wrong, forgive me. Forgive me. Don't hold it to my heart. Forgive me. And then you take care of business. Protect your spirit. Protect your soul, sis. Protect your mind. And most of all, protect your boundaries. Don't let people run over you. Not for one second. Don't don't let people run over you. Like we we're all going through a storm. We're all going through something. God would not have laid this on my heart or in my friend's heart if we're not. If we're not. So keep standing on business. Keep trusting God. I think I end every motivational video saying that. Keep trusting in God. My mom always told me, who going to be there, going to be there. Who going to support you, going to support you. Let me tell you something. I recognize the people who support me, who always come in. I see y'all. And every chance I get, I'm going to say something. Because that means the world to me. Because let me tell you something. I don't always have it. When I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed at night, you don't think my heart ain't heavy sometimes? Yeah, it is. Do you not think it's hard for me to get on here sometimes to do a motivational uh, Monday? I can say Wednesday. A motivational Monday when I got this going on in my life, this going on, this person acting crazy, this person mad about this, when this one ain't doing right, this one ain't doing right, this one got something to say. No, I don't always do it. So I need it too. And again, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate my circle. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted, y'all. Protect your boundaries. Protect your spirit. Protect your circle, okay? Again, y'all, I really, really appreciate y'all and I thank y'all. Y'all know I could not end this without a prayer. So let's just go into a few seconds of prayer, y'all. Father God, as always, I come to you right now just to say thank you. God, I just want to thank you for your many blessings. God, I just want to thank you for another day. God, I just want to thank you for covering us, God. I just want to thank you for just protection. God, I thank you for your protection. God, I thank you for your words. And God, I just thank you for sending people into my life, God, who just love and, and support God and they see you, God. And not only do they see you in me, but God, they, they have you in themselves, God. God, I pray for anybody who may be going through unfair treatment, God, or have a problem with setting boundaries, God. I give it all to you. God, I give it, I give it all to you because you know the situation. God, you know the situation even before I, I got it out of my mouth in prayer. 
God, I lift them up to you. God, I give them to you. And God, I just continue to ask for just a little more grace, God, just a little more mercy. God, I just ask that you would just be with us. Lord, I speak health. I speak prosperity. God, I speak great things over each and every single one of us, our family, God, our friends, God. And we know, we know you're going to do everything, every single thing that you said you're going to do. And God, we're going to continue to praise you. Even when we don't get treated right, even when we don't feel it, God, we're going to continue to praise you because that's how good you were, God. You are a good God. You are all knowing, all seeing. But most of all, God, you are powerful. You are loving. And God, we say thank you. And God, we're going to love you, God, and we're going to forever praise your name, God. And God, again, we thank you, God. God, we thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for everything. I thank you for crazy seasons. I thank you for lonely seasons. God, I thank you for the bad seasons. Lord, and even the good ones, because we know that you have it. God, I just ask that you strengthen me, that I will be a help to someone that's crying out for more of you. God, I love you, and I appreciate you. God, we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Whew, okay. Oh, y'all. But anyway, I'm about to end this video. Y'all, I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay in the word. If you have not subscribed already, don't forget to, to be a part of the family. I would absolutely love to have you. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, <laughs>